Hundreds of thousands of people, they really believe that full self-driving or autonomous cars will never happen. It's never going to be a thing. That's what they say. And they say that, you know, Tesla's attempts at full self-driving are ridiculous because uh, look how bad it is. And all of a sudden, almost all of those people are just, they're just saying nothing. What is truly remarkable is how far full self-driving has come for Tesla. And all of a sudden we're seeing these videos where people are going, hang on a minute, did we get it wrong? Has Tesla just figured it out? Could they really do this by the end of the year? Well, it looks like they probably could and they probably will. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Tesla may be about to solve for self-driving, and I don't mean tomorrow. I mean, they've still got a ways to go. It's not perfect yet, but damn, it's suddenly become like a human. No one thought this would happen. Everyone kept saying, oh, Elon Musk is just making these promises. He's just, he's just a snake oil salesman. Well, yeah. Full self-driving has been doing some astonishing things lately. There is no questioning that. Talk News has just revealed what they think are five of the most intriguing and impressive scenarios showing that full self-driving is becoming like a person, but in some ways, better than a person. Now, I just revealed one of the videos showing uh, what would have been a head-on collision, clearly, if you slow down the video here, you can see the, the Tesla car reacts at the last second because the Toyota Tacoma begins to drive straight into it and it swerves, goes onto the nature strip and goes around. I don't think that any car is capable of that kind of last second thinking where it has to make a decision. It breaks the road rules in order to avoid a collision. And that, in my opinion, is really next level. Now, here are the biggest ways that full self-driving is clearly improving. Six, number one, parking lot navigation and obstacle avoidance. Two, taking a U-turn at a dead end and waiting for pedestrians and dogs. Three, full self-driving using situational context to choose where it can see best for a turn. Four, anticipating traffic flow at a traffic crossing and this is a really challenging one it sounds simple right but re previously full self-driving was tentative like it was trying to follow the rules trying to actually follow a set rule so you really couldn't pull out in front of cars and it was a bit slow and tentative now it is well acting like a human being would when there's a lot of traffic you have no choice other than to be a little bit aggressive otherwise you'll literally sit at a uh, an intersection for an hour. You just have no choice. That's the real world. And it's starting to act more like a person would in a real situation. Next, number seven, being polite and allowing another car to enter and pass. And number eight, bonus, possibly taking in gestures of other people to continue on. So that's something that even Google's Waymo division, their car definitely can't do. It can't recognize gestures from other cars. Apparently, people are saying this is Tesla's full self driving is actually doing that. It's recognizing if someone waves you to go on or waves something to you to kind of tell you to do something, which is kind of staggering. I don't know if that's actually true, but I'm hearing that it is. Parking lot navigation and obstacle avoidance. In this situation, says Talk News, a Tesla full self driving user was driving in a parking lot and the car navigated around cars and shopping carts in order to go to the entrance of the Walmart and park. In the future, this would be how a robo taxi will work. You know, dropping you off, it'll go and park, and then when you're ready, it'll come and pick you up. Or maybe it won't park. Maybe it'll go drive and pick someone else up and make you some money while you're shopping. Now, the person who had this experience, they said, holy crap, look what full self-driving just did. I'm not pressing any pedals. Yeah, it's gone to another level where it's, it's shocking people who have been using it previously. Taking a U-turn at a dead end and waiting for pedestrians and dogs. Chuck Cook was driving in his Tesla with full self-driving 12.3 and he hit a dead end in the city. Normally the car would stop and you'd have to take over because the car would go, I don't know what to do here. This guy, right, fortunately for us, he waited to see what the car would do. 
and to see if it would continue on after he saw some people and dogs and realized that the car was actually waiting for the people and the dogs and a person that was actually walking. He didn't touch the accelerator on the car. He thought it was stuck. However, it waited for these people, waited for the dogs, and then it actually began to drive again. So this is a big deal because previously Tesla vehicles would get stuck and they just wouldn't know what to do. You'd have to take over. But when it got stuck, well, when it was forced to stop from these obstacles, you didn't have, the guy didn't have to take over. It actually took, it actually took command after stopping. Full self-driving using situational context. In this case, the car was at an intersection where it had to turn left and there was a large oak tree on the right. Had the car driven up all the way to the creep line, it would have been blocked by the tree and not been able to see. Now, it's a big deal. People are saying the camera's in not the right spot for cars to see this kind of turn, but the car was actually able to recognize where it would be able to get the best view to work out where to turn from. The car stopped behind the tree so it could see in both directions properly. The prior version of full self-driving, version 11, would have crept toward or forward all the way to the line every time without being able to notice the large tree was blocking its view. And then it would be stuck because the tree was blocking its view. And this time it worked out to stop before that tree so it could get a better viewpoint. Now that's kind of a next level thinking. Anticipating traffic flow at a traffic crossing. In a video from AI Driver, Tesla's full self-driving saw an approaching car that was going to go through a traffic tunnel and only one car at a time can get through. Seeing this, the car slowed down, moved over to the right and let the other car go through. This made for the ability for obviously the, the driver, he didn't have to take over. This is a really unusual circumstance here. This is like an edge case. And in this situation, well, the edge case was solved. Now, what about being polite and allowing another car to enter and pass? Well, on a busy city street, Tesla's four self driving was in a line of cars. There was a spot on the right with a car getting ready to merge into traffic. The car stopped before the opening, allowing the other car to move in front and continue on. It's almost like the Tesla car was being nice. This is what we do in, in real life. Now, here's the most complicated one, and this is one we're not too sure about yet. Dirty Tesla's car was driving in the city. There was a car on the right with a woman standing next to it. His car slowed down, likely in case the woman was going to cross the road. However, she simply raised her hand and pointed to her car to show she was going to get in. At the same time, his car continued driving forward and it seems like maybe potentially his car recognized the gesture from the woman saying, um, that she was getting in her car. I can't be certain of this one. No one's really too sure on this one, but it's certainly possible. Now, the point here is not to say that Tesla's full self-driving is ready for prime time. I don't think it is. But could it be by the 8th of August when Tesla is going to reveal their new robo-taxi, which I'm assuming is a Tesla Model 2. I'm assuming they're going to have a robo-taxi version and a steering wheel version as well. It has a, The $25,000 car has not been cancelled. There'll just be two versions of it. We've known that all along now. By then, right, Tesla will have probably another, let me think, four months to get this right. Now, seeing Tesla did three updates in a single week that did provide improvements, they might be able to do another 20 to 30 updates by the time the reveal comes on the 8th of August. Now, that may mean Tesla will be very close, if not maybe even there by then. Now, I don't think they will be. Uh, I don't think it'll be fully ready by August. But I think by the end of this year, it's highly, highly likely. If you look at Tesla's stock price, I think people are getting a little carried away with car sales. When the Tesla business is unquestionably much more focused on other things, robotics, its energy division, superchargers, and of course, full self-driving. Let me know what you think though. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments, guys. Thank you for watching.